I'm here with Whitley Doss getting that three set win over Golden West who uh, you know got a little interesting in that in that third set you had a nine point lead uh, that shrunk down to one but you were able to get the deciding kill and then Haley followed it up with the game winning ace so uh, just talk about the way that game went for you guys and uh, what you're trying to build towards uh, next week uh, when uh, you guys are hosting the state championships. Um, I think we just knew the importance of that game three, that set three. Um, I think we played really well in the first two sets and knew you know, we had to finish and not get comfortable, not get relaxed. We wanted to win that, you know, that third set and to, you know, get ready for next week. So I really just think it was a mindset kind of thing that got us to where we were in that, um, you know, in that third set. And uh, we just we just want it so bad, so uh, that's all there is to it. Now, one of the keys about today was the fact that you had distribution all over the place today. Megan was getting in her shots. Um, Haley, who who is primarily known as being a star, was getting a lot of good shots in today. To me, it came into that second set big time and uh, finished the that set with uh, with with two kills. So just overall distribution do you think that it speaks to the depth of your team or to the chemistry of your team even though we all know that you only have about 10 players right now playing yeah i wouldn't necessarily say we have depth i just think that with the girls that we do have they're just stellar they're just phenomenal they know how to put the ball down and they work hard and you know they get the job done so we don't really have you know a lot of girls in every position but the girls that we do have they know how to get the job done so i think that speaks to you know the way we train and you know the, the girls that we have um and you know their kind of mindset and their abilities so um yeah, it's, it's, it's nice though to be able to um, have more than one or two girls who can put the ball on the floor and get kills and aces and all that stuff. So. Now the first set was very, very contentious. Golden West played you very, very tough. Um, did did some things uh, offensively to kind of put you off balance. But that second set to win 25-15, the way that you did, what, what adjustments were you guys able to make? I think we blocked really well. In that second, that second match, um, and second set, and um, just didn't give them many opportunities to, to score. And I think um, our service team got a lot better in that second set. Um, so we were giving ourselves opportunities to put the ball away. And I think that's it. We blocked well, we passed well, we always serve well. Um, we served really well this year. A couple errors, but we were serving tough. So I think that made a difference in that second set between you know, the rest of the now, having come so close last year and losing into the championship game, is that all the more motivation to get back to the championship game this year? Not just including the fact... The more important fact of the night wasn't just the fact that they got the win, but they officially got that brand amen. new coffee amen. maker. Amen. So, uh, amen, amen, to, amen to coffee. No, 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 don't even worry. Talk, talk, talk about the importance of coffee in your athletic oh, regimen. Oh, I mean, honestly, I don't think coffee is really that good for you, but um, with, you know, all our hours we put in, you know, in the gym, early, you know, class, you know, late nights, it, it helps. It helps. I'm so excited for that. Uh, all right, so back to so back to the serious question that I was about to ask before. I have to say though, that that's got to be like the most energy that I've ever seen <laughs> Peyton have all season long. Oh, but yeah, yeah. to the question of, you guys were so close last year to make it to the state championship. You got to the final game only to lose. Just what what's going through your mind with with the extra motivation that not only is this your last opportunity to get there having come so close, but now it's on your home floor this year. The fact that it's at home, I think, puts a little pressure on us, but I think we work well under pressure, we know how to deal with it, we know how to work with it. So I think that the fact that we're going to be here in our gym where we create our culture every day, um, it's like the number one thing that it's like, we can't lose in our house, you know? So I think that, and just the fact that all of us who um, lost last year are all back, you know what I'm saying? And so. Um, I think that hurt and that you know, frustration and everything from last season, um, it's just it's something we talk about constantly. Um, and we know what it takes, we you know, have what it takes, and we just gotta execute it. Yeah. 
We're in a good spot. All right, cool.